Pattern Day Trader Rule, also known as the PDT Rule. Disclaimer, I have publicly heavily disagreed with this rule for as long as I've been making videos. I think it's very silly, but it's the rule that is in place, so we must abide by it. But I actually have a way to potentially get around this, though I don't entirely recommend it. We'll talk about that. Now, the PDT rule is a set of rules that applies specifically to margin accounts, not cash accounts, margin accounts. What it says is that any margin account that executes four or more day trades, a day trade is simply a round trip in the same day, within a rolling five business day period, using that same margin account will be flagged as a pattern day trader. That flag as a pattern day trader happens at any dollar amount, by the way. It's not just under 25,000, but we'll talk about that. Being flagged is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, there are little nuances that we're not going to get into in this video, but for most of you, what's most applicable is that being flagged as a pattern day trader really applies if you have under $25,000 in your margin account in terms of cash value, not including margin, but cash value. Because if you get flagged as a pattern day trader, four or more day trades in a rolling five business day period, you have to maintain a minimum of $25,000 in cash in that margin account. If it falls below or is already below $25,000, that account is not allowed to execute any day trades until the account is brought back above $25,000. And yes, margin accounts that have over $25,000 cash value have absolute free reign to day trade as much as they want. If commissions and fees, if they can handle them on paid brokers, you can trade a thousand times in a single day if you'd like, above $25,000, okay? But this doesn't mean that if you have less than twenty-five grand, that you can't day trade. It just means that you can't take more than three trades, or day trades, I should say, in a rolling five-day period. That's all that means, okay? Now, there's a few more things we need to discuss here. Margin accounts versus cash accounts, and this just a few days ago, as of this uploading, got really good. A lot of traders will come to me and they'll, they'll, they'll assume that they can just completely get around PDT without problems by simply trading in a cash account. It's true. By doing so, you get around pattern day trader, but new problems arise. That new problem is settlement periods. In a cash account, you can only trade with the cash, the settled cash, the settled funds that you have available at that time in the cash account. A margin account, you can just churn. Okay, but PDT is a problem. In a cash account, you have to wait for funds to settle before you can trade, but PDT does not apply. It's different problems. But this is really good news, because a few days ago, as of the upload of this video, May 28th, 2024, T plus one settlement became active. That covers all securities that used to be covered by T plus two settlement. This is a really big change. This has been highly anticipated in the trading world and it just hit. It used to be that if you would buy and sell a stock on like Monday, you wouldn't be able to trade with those specific funds until Wednesday because they wouldn't be settled until Wednesday. Now, as of again, May 28th, 2024, if you buy and sell a stock on Monday, you can trade with those funds on Tuesday because settlement just got cut in half. It's one day settlement now. That's a really big deal for cash accounts. That makes this a lot more feasible, but it's not perfect. It's not free reign. If you trade with unsettled funds in the cash account, that's called a good faith violation. Right? What does that mean? For most brokers, if you incur three good faith violations in a rolling 12-month period. I know for some brokers, it's four. For most that I've seen, it's three. In a rolling 12-month period, they will restrict the cash in your account for 90 days. Well, what does restrict mean? Well, restriction just means that you're not going to be able to buy securities unless you have sufficient funds that are already settled in the account prior to placing the trade. Basically, realistically, all this is, guys, it's training wheels to make sure that you're doing what you were supposed to be doing in the first place. That's pretty much all that happens. But it still kind of puts a damper on things. Okay, so how do you trade with less than 25000 
And yes, I'm going to get to my answer and then we'll apply it more to specific situations, but this is an important few options to go through. If you have less than 25 grand, what do you do? Do you trade in a margin account, a cash account? What do you do? Well, you really have three options, not just two. You have three options. Option A, or number one, is trade in a margin account, but don't take more than three day trades per five day period. If you only need like a day trade every other day, you're fine. You can trade in a margin account. You don't have to worry about good faith violations. You can just churn the dollar amount or the capital without worrying about settlement or anything. Just don't take more than three trades, day trades per rolling five day period because you have to worry about PDT under 25 grand in a margin account. If you opt to trade in a cash account, you can do that. But make sure you're only ever trading with settled funds. How does this actually look in practice? Usually it's trading with taking each trade with a smaller percentage of your cash in each trade. So then you can like use this chunk and then this chunk of your cash and then this chunk of your cash and take more trades or you can just trade less often. Okay, because you can't really use all your money more than like every one day. Right, T plus one now. It's By the way, this is a big change. Again, it used to be T plus two. It was very frustrating. I think it should be instant settlement with no PDT rule, but this is where we stand and I'm not in charge. Okay, so now option three. Now, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say, don't do this. I don't recommend this. Um, I've done it. So that's why I can't say, just don't do this. But you can trade with an offshore broker. I did this years ago. It's probably kind of sketch. If you lose your money, if something happens, it's probably much less likely you're going to be able to get it back. But offshore brokers, since they are offshore, they do not have to abide by PDT rules. Okay, another downside. They are usually really, really expensive. You're going to churn fees and commissions like crazy. They're really expensive and they really have not gotten cheaper because they know that they're, they're, only, they're the only option for a lot of traders who want to trade more actively. So you're going to have to pay up. Fees and commissions, they're not really free, at least most not the ones that I know of. Again, I do not recommend this, because if your money disappears, they're offshore. I don't know what you're going to do, but I've done it. So I can't say don't do it. That's hypocritical, and I'm not going to do that.